gives yeah. a lot of texture to your pieces. They're very impressive, though. If yeah. you're walking through a park and you see one of Marianne's sculptures, I mean, it stands out. Definitely. And also, you have such a, a defined style, which mm-hmm. is very difficult for artists to do. You have such a defined mm-hmm. style that when people yeah. see a piece of your work, they go, oh, I know who that artist is. And that's probably that's- the greatest compliment any artist could ever receive mm-hmm. is when other artists or other uh, people that yes. aren't necessarily into art, they go, oh, mm-hmm. I know who that I is. Know. I think we're very happy that you've achieved that goal. That's not an easy one to achieve, by the way. It isn't. Yes. And I'm I'm very happy about that, too. Um, And and, uh, there's a gallery that represents me in Asheville, and and they have a big window in the front, and my sculpture is there. And people often say, oh, that's Marianne Prager. Tell me that they saw my work there, just driving by. So. Yeah. And they don't slam on the it's brakes nice. and go in and open their wallet. Oh yes, of course they do. Of course they do. No, <laughs> that part, no. <laughs> um, Sometimes. My question is: Is do you principally? Well, what what is your principal material that you use to make your sculptures? It's clay, right? It's yeah, it's clay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then how how long? It's a, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Mary. Well, I was going to say it's a medium that. Um, there, there's so many possibilities with using this this material that it's it's just incredible the shapes the sizes the um, surface in decoration or you know whatever it's it's limit it's limitless and it can be very precise too and a lot of well I won't compare but to other uh, clay well, originally clay you know seemed to be yeah um, more gargoyles and just uh, amorphous shapes and and, but it, it can be more precise than that. And it is a lot of artists are doing precise work, but, um, but I just love the medium. And it also, um, another advantage is that, um, I have control over, over every stage of the process. And so that, that, uh, is nice too. As a yeah. man, I don't have to send it you, for a foundry. Yes, you yeah. The, the, the control. As a man, I really like looking at you, uh, sculpting with all those tools. I'm always fascinated <laughs> by the various yeah. tools you're using to oh, um, shape yeah. that clay. And you yes. seem to do it with such finesse. I'm not sure guys have that kind Did of you? finesse, but you you drag that tool over that clay and it seems to yield right. everything you want out of it. That's not an easy thing to do. No, it's not. That's, that's correct. And and the line work, um, I use a you know a knife and inside the lines and it's all hand. It's just free-handed. You know, and somehow the... You know, I'm, if I'm working on it, I work on a turntable, so somehow a line will just end up on the other side at the exact right point. Good you know, for you. That is meeting so another. Lovely. I know it's just it's just that it's so, you know so in the moment, so you know just a, it's a, there's a rhythm to it and everything, and it just it's it, it just happens. It doesn't always happen that way, but I'm saying that you know it can, and it's it's a really nice feeling. Well, you'd have to just scrub it out right and reshape oh it. yeah that's that's easy no i mean to to take the line yeah no off, to have easy. a match up sure i can understand yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so that's how long how, how long does it take you to make your sculptures um it, that depends on the size mm-hmm. and all and uh but the minimum length of time to have a finished piece would be like uh five or six weeks because of drying time oh yeah more than anything yeah yeah, yeah. and um yeah, so um, that's but, really but interesting piece, to yeah. know. Mm-hmm. It, it appears to me that with your sculpture starting out uh, as abstract clay figures, how mm-hmm. do you manage to create ones that withstand, and we talked about this a little bit, but withstand the outside oh, yes. elements? I mean, mm-hmm. you're like you said, you're in an area where you have four seasons and you have right. snow, which means it's going to be mm-hmm. cold. Yeah. Well, the clay is a very strong material and it have been, has been used for centuries, you know, for decorations, buildings and for a lot of things. Um, but it has to be uh, fired to a vitreous state where, um, moisture can't get into it. Mm-hmm. And, and so, and that, that's helpful. Um, but it's a very strong uh, material and I, I use a specially formulated clay that is made for sculpture and, and, uh, so that's, okay. that's part of it you must, too. You must yeah. be bringing that in by the truckload. <laughs> yeah, not really. I mean, it, you know, I do get truckloads like five hundred pounds each time, but um, you know, I, 
I don't ma- you know mass produce them or get you know. No, we understand. They t- take time, so it's <laughs> anyway. Yeah, five weeks. That's a, yeah, that's a drying time. Is a, that seems to be pervasive in a lot of different forms right. of art. Because exactly. you got to wait for the right. thing to dry. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So I ha- do a lot of different pieces at once. So you know, I have several things going at once. Now I'm going to be snoopy with my next question. Because when we've seen photos of the interior of your home, where you have many of your art pieces displayed, which I might add are beautifully displayed in your home, Rod and I have noticed that you have a favorite book on your table. Oh, Tell us about your book and what it means to you. Oh, okay. Um, it's called Oh Appalachia, and it was written by uh, Ramona Lempel and her husband Millard. And um, she became a very good friend of mine. Um, I first met her when she uh, came to one of my studio tours uh-huh. about 10, 10 years ago or more. And um, she loved my work, bought a piece right away. And, and um, just she was, she was like a mentor to me and, uh, and she, just a wonderful person. But she ended up with about 10 sculptures and paintings and drawings and uh just a really fabulous person. Uh, she passed away a year and a half ago. And, oh, I'm uh, sorry to hear that. Sorry yeah, to hear that. yeah. But she was wonderful, and uh, 